The comet Punsbrook is now visible with the naked eye. You don't need any optical aid if you want just to see it. But you have to know where it is. But with the optical aid, like binoculars and a telescope, you can actually, a wide angle one, wide view ones. You can see it. It never settles for the British Isles and practically is a circumpolar uh, object at the moment. But for the rest of the you know, Northern Hemisphere, it will set and then will rise again. Uh, but in the Southern Hemisphere, you have a better chance or near the equator and the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. You can see it easier. These are the charts showing the position of the comet. At the moment, it's in the constellation pieces uh, and the boundary to the red next constellations. But then it moves quick. So it's because it's getting closer in the sky to us. So the travel distance, uh, angular tra travel distance in the sky, in our point of view, is actually fast. It has brightened up. It was earlier so at several bursts of eruption of uh, you know ice and dust into the uh, solar system uh, the surrounding of it of course creating a tail and a coma and all that uh, activity now is uh, passing the threshold of the sixth magnitude you can see it barely uh, with the naked eye you can photograph it if you have a camera you can this is just a photograph you can see that we have done it and uh, with a telescope is easier if you track it you will be able to actually ex uh, make the exposures, uh, long-term exposure, long-term exposures, and create better images. It, on this month also, at the same time, we will have a, a solar eclipse visible from Canada. This is a stamp uh, that uh, Canadian Post Office has released. I have a video about the observation of this, also about the observation of the eclipse. Uh, please watch them. I'll add them at the end of this video. There is a volcanic comet called 12P Ponsbrooks. Uh, yes, volcanic. The volcanism can be solid, liquid, and gas. We have in this case gas formed from directly from the uh, solid, solid ice in a comet. Comets are made of ice and the rocky, sandy material. Ponsbrook had a sudden eruption in July and again in October, just a few days ago. And now it is bright, 50 times brighter, fifth magnitude, five magnitude brighter than what it was. And it gets closer to the Earth, it gets brighter. It will get brighter. Some have suggested it looks very odd shaped now. We know that shape from the comets like the Yokotake. Some say that this is a spacecraft. But we know that this is the solar wind acting with the uh, surface of the comet, creating the, you know, the heat and the heat and the evaporation and the explosion eruption of the ice directly from solid to the to the gas releases a lot of dust into the surrounding environment of the comet creating these bright uh, tails that we see in them the surface you see uh, evidence plenty plenty of resurfacing visible at the surface debris the smooth surfaces that covered as if with the ash these are the dust from the comet spread over the surface even you can see a vent that's a volcanic vent similar to that the comet will be visible around the springtime in the constellation around the constellation of the orion moving fast toward the east from the west setting sun and as you can see here the orbit will be very visible and very favorable for us and the magnitude will uh, increase fifth magnitude have increased in brightness already. It may even have more bursts. As it gets closer to the sun, it will be visible. During a solar eclipse in the Americas, you can see this actually fascinating time to be 8th of April 2024. It's an exciting time for both professional and amateur astronomers to see two phenomena at the same time in the sky.